Good day folks. So today we're going to do a quick flight with the motion controller. Had some questions and comments asking me to do more of an in-depth kind of not review of it but just maybe flight video. I'm not going to do a full range test with it today but we will go some distance just so you can see that you can actually fly a good amount of distance with it. It's uh, OcuSync 3.0 so you still have the full 10 kilometers of range. So let's uh, just get it going and we'll get it up in the air. Pretty simple to get it going. We're going to do a double press of the lock button. That's going to start the motors. You can see down there the motors are now going and then we're going to press and hold the lock button and that's going to launch it. So we're just going to go for a quick flight here and uh, just one thing I want to mention just like the controller we do have an emergency button or brake button that's this big one here on the right hand side and it's a good idea if you have to set the controller down for any reason make sure you hit that first because if not if you just set the controller down your drone is going to spin around in circles like a crazy uh, out of control drone so if you do have to set it down press that button that's going to stop all motion uh, being sent to the drone if you do want to fly again if you pick it up just press that again and that'll start the signals being sent back to the drone so yeah let's just go for a quick flight so right now we are in manual mode and uh, you know it flies pretty good in manual mode like speed wise I should say it's got a good amount of speed and it's a good way to kind of get started to get a feel for how it flies. Now you can't see what I'm seeing because there's no way to capture the telemetry in the screen, but uh, there's all kinds of uh, information there for you. There's a circle and a crosshair to line up so you know which direction you're heading in. And it's actually very smooth. I'm uh, quite pleased with what DJI has done with this. So let's uh, get down here a little bit lower. Now we're going to switch it over into sport mode. So we're going to hit the mode button here on the side and now it's in sport mode. So now we get all the wonderful speed that the DJI drone is capable of. And yeah, it's actually very agile and just fun to fly with. Now you don't have as much precision with it per se as using the controller. Better get up here where there's some wires. But it's still pretty agile. Make sure we keep an eye on the battery because it does actually go down quite quickly when you're in sport mode. Let's skim across the trees here. Don't want to go too low because there are some kind of ghost branches sticking up because they don't have leaves on them yet. So some of the trees are a little hard to see. So yeah, I really actually enjoy flying with the motion controller. And of course, rumor has it that it's going to be compatible with the Mavic, or I guess it's not the Mavic, uh, the DJI Air 2S that's coming out later this week or by the time you're watching this it could already be out so that'll be really interesting to see what the uh, flight experience is like with that so we've just gone into a low battery return to home so I'm gonna cancel that so we're gonna land it and then we're gonna put another battery in it and then do a bit of a range test not a full range test but just uh, show you how much distance you can actually achieve with it that was one question that I have had uh, a few times so I've just put a fresh battery in and now we're going to go for a little bit of a distance test. I'm just going to start in normal mode because when you do put it in sport mode it does eat up the battery quite quickly. So we want to try and conserve our battery as much as possible. So let's go ahead and we will get the drone launched here. Double tap and then press and hold the lock button. And 
There we go there. So everything looks good. Let's go ahead. I'm going to unlock it again here. And uh, we'll head out. I'm not going to go too terribly high. You can see there's just open field here. So we'll do this safely. We'll still keep it relatively within line of sight. I've got my spotter here. Now, unfortunately, I can't share the telemetry with you, so you'll just have to uh, take my word for it. Right now, we are at a height of 47 meters. And, um, yeah, it's a little bit breezy. It is moving the drone around a little bit, but not too bad. Some of this video I might speed up a bit just so, you know, you don't have to sit and watch all this uh, boring stuff. So we're closing in on 600 meters, so we're almost a kilometer. And I'm going to go down a little bit actually because I just got a warning of high wind velocity. So we'll keep an eye on the battery as well. I want to make sure that we have enough power to get home. So we're at 800 meters, 33 meters high. And I don't think I would ever want to fly this far, but uh, definitely if you're a person who wants to do long range with the motion controller, you're quite able to do so. So we just crossed over a thousand meters, so we are now one kilometer away. And uh, I'm just gonna go up a little bit higher here again. I am getting a interference in MC location. So we've just crossed over 1,400 meters, so coming up on a kilometer and a half. And there we go, 2,000 meters. So we're two kilometers out right now, 22 meters high. Uh, reception looks really good. The RC connection is at uh, four bars. HD transmission is at three bars now. So, you know, we're doing really good there. And there we go there, three kilometers. So I'm not gonna push it any farther than that. Let's uh, turn around. And I can see the H in the distance there. So uh, let's head her on home. We have 64% battery, so we're still doing good there. And our transmission is doing really good. Our RC connection is at four bars still. Our HD is at two bars, but that's because I'm pretty low right now, so maybe we can go up a little higher. Yeah, that OcuSync 3.0 is actually pretty, pretty incredible. And I might actually switch it over to sport mode. I think we have enough power to get home with no issue, and uh, be a little funner to fly back in sport mode. So, in sport mode we go. Let's head her home. Yeah, gotta love this thing. If you are on the fence about buying the motion controller, uh, definitely I recommend it. I've uh, been flying probably most of the time with it. It's just, just a blast to fly with. And I'm really looking forward to flying it with the Mavic, or not the Mavic, the Air 2S when it comes out uh, next week. Rumor has it the motion controller will be compatible with it, so definitely that will be, uh, be a fun thing to experiment with. So 52% battery, so we're looking good. High wind velocity, you can see the drones being uh, tossed around a little bit there. Just flying straight, you can see that the horizon is a little bit crooked. And that's because of the angle of the drone fighting the wind. So yeah, a lot of fun. Let's uh, follow this little river home. Those grain bins in the distance is where we're going, so we got lots of time here to check out the river. It's funny, we're a fair distance away, but I can actually hear it screaming off in the distance. This drone is not quiet by any stretch of the imagination. And here we are, we are home. 
So yeah, as you can see, we went out three kilometers with no issue, no breakup. So yeah, I've got it paused right now, but yeah, that is the motion controller. Um, definitely, if you are on the fence about it, maybe you're not sure if it's something you'll use or if it's gimmicky. It's a great tool. It's fun to fly with. Uh, it works well. You can still fly fast. You can still have good agility and you can still get a great distance with it. Well, folks, thanks a lot for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next one.